Hi, Taman and Jackie. We're outside the Flossmore Police Department, and it was about a week ago when police shot and killed a 64 year old woman during a domestic disturbance call. Chicago based groups are outraged by the shooting, and today they demanded for justice and also called for alternatives when it comes to calling police during a mental health crisis. Jada Johnson, say her name. Say her name. Madeline Miller, say her name. Say her name. At the corner of 63rd and Woodlawn on Chicago's south side, organizers with Black Lives Matter Chicago, Seoul, and the Chicago Torture Justice Center united to protest the police killing of two black women. On July 1st, 22 year old Jada Johnson was shot and killed by Fayetteville police in North Carolina. And on July 10th, 64 year old Madeline Miller was shot and killed by Flossmoor police in Illinois. We have to have black women's lives matter. It has to mean something. It has to hit us hard. It can't just be another blip on the news when a black woman is murdered by those who were saying they were supposed to protect and serve. Flossmoor is about 30 minutes away from this meeting point in Woodlawn, which is where Miller was killed by police. Police say they shot Miller three times as she charged toward police officers with a knife near 194th Street and Joyce Drive. Days later, police released this body camera video saying they were responding to a domestic disturbance where it was believed Miller was armed and dangerous and threatening to attack a family member with a knife. Several people at the rally challenged the narrative given by police that Miller posed as a threat. It shouldn't be any other title provided other than that they shot her and that they killed her and that they provided her with no alternative of justice. Miller's oldest sister was at the rally and she also questioned the police's actions. She was a small little thing, you know, and from what I saw, they could have used less force, taser, you know, if it was that serious because they were standing in the street from what I saw. She was nowhere around then. Fields remembers Miller as a funny and devoted woman to her family. She believes her sister would still be alive if a mental health responder would have been present. They would be the first responders. They're trained to know uh, what to do. I doubt if the police are trained to know what to do when they are going through these experiences. Those sentiments were also echoed by all speakers and community members. Following the deaths of the two women, they're calling for better mental health resources. We are here to make Madeline's life matter, to make sure that everyone knows that Jada's life mattered, right? And we are also here to say that people in mental health crisis, just like those in a physical health crisis, need and deserve care, not armed response. We reached out to Flossmore police for comment, but we have not heard back from them yet. Miller's sister says she will be spending her time fighting for greater access to mental health centers and hopes to pass a bill and law in her sister's name. We're live in Flossmore. I'm Andrea Medina, WGN News.